guys, it's Coffee, and today I am here doing a speed build. I very rarely do speed builds, but I've really been wanting to get better at speed building and doing more building in general because I just don't feel like I'm very good at it, and I've never felt good at it in any version of The Sims. So I took a ton of inspiration on this video from James Turner's video of his small lake house that he did. I will link that video down below if you guys are curious of in seeing it. My setup is very similar to what his was like, at least for the landscaping. I really wanted to give the idea of a real lake house, of a house literally set out in the middle of a lake. And I actually saw his video first while looking for lake houses. It popped up in my feed because I have a serious obsession with lake houses. I like my dream home would probably be over a lake of some sort. So I really wanted to take inspiration from that. And his idea to me was like the most genius way to do it was to have the entrance in the back so you couldn't really see it from one side of the house. And you know, we don't have the ability in The Sims currently to live on a lake like that. So basically this is just me getting the main setup done for this, which I just used a pool. And now that we have the ability to change the color of the water, uh, I say it like we, we got it recently. We've had it since I believe get together. You can change the color of the water. And I think I actually ended up going for clearer water at the end, but I started out with this really like murky lake type and immediately decided that I wanted something different at, towards the end. But uh, at first I thought I was gonna make this like pastel dream house. And I was like, this will be super cute. I'll make it very like Barbie-esque and kawaii. And then literally within like minutes of starting this build, I realized so fast that I wanted it to be modern. And I have a huge obsession with modern homes, kind of like living on a lake would be my dream. A modern home would definitely be the type of house I would wanna live in. In if I built it myself, it would be very, 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 very modernized. Huge windows, lots of natural light. That's just what makes me happy. If I could bring nature into my home as much as humanly possible, that is going to be like... Ugh, like, ugh. my dream, like, honestly, if you guys have ever seen the movie, The Lake House with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock, that house is like goals AF. I would love to live in a structure like that. It would be a little scary, but I think I would honestly love it so much. Anyways, <laughs> I'm excited to get to the point where oh, I think it's right here. This is right when I decided that we were going to go modern with the whole thing. So my idea for this build was I wanted it to be something that would be fit for one person or maybe like a young couple or an old couple that's retired or what have you, you know, I wanted it to be for people that probably didn't have kids because there's really not room for kids in this house. I did not build it with the idea that somebody would have kids in this house. It's definitely made for just, you know, single, single, what have you. <laughs> it could even be definitely a bachelorette pad as well, or bachelor pad, depending. And I wanted to put lots and lots and lots of natural light in the build. So of course I went with lots of very large windows. As you see in a lot of modern architecture, that's just very typical. Um, I struggled a little bit with the window placement as I did feel like the build was a little quote, quote, windowy, if you will. I felt like there was a ton of windows on it and and almost too many, but that's something again that I'm working on while we're gaining skill with speed builds and all that jazz. Um, you can see here, I'm still trying to make the kawaii thing work. And then I'm just like, you know what? It's it's not happening. And we totally scrap that whole idea. <laughs> but um, I also struggle with plants a lot in this game. Like I'm always like, oh, maybe this plant or that plant or I don't even know. I don't even know. I love this one though. I think it came from back yard stuff. It might've been perfect patio, that little cute stepping stool one. So I definitely kept elements in the house that are colorful or around the house, like the outdoor furniture more than anything. So along with making this a single young, single couple or retiree home, I wanted it to also have the feel that they kind of have every luxury, even with having a smaller space and, you know, being a, a little more secluded secluded as well. Like it's literally in the middle of a freaking lake. Of course it's secluded, <laughs> but I wanted it to be really luxurious. That's just kind of how builds are for me. It would be honestly a struggle for me to build something that wasn't incredibly luxurious. Um, I myself do not live in 
like anything super luxury and never have in my whole life. But I love the idea of that. I love the idea of having a perfect setup in a home and, you know, having things that are very modernized and high technology and, you know, all that jazz, like into the future would be my jam if we had it in the Sims 4. But I also wanted to have a lot of like cozy feel and industrial feel at the same time. So I ended up using a lot of brick inside the home of that like, it's kind of like that old industrial brick, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I have seen this in Deli Gressy's apartment. If you guys have ever watched any of like her apartment videos or any of her builds, she does a lot of industrial type builds. And I just think it's so beautiful. I would probably hate it as an actual consumer because drilling into brick is a beast especially if you want to like hang things in your house but it looks so majestic and so awesome and I love it um, this brick is probably my favorite and I, I wanted to go with that like I feel like brick can be really cozy so you'll definitely see that as we go upstairs into the bedroom which we spend a while on the downstairs but I went with a very modern feel for the kitchen of course and this plant this one that I just put down in the corner is my favorite plant in this entire game that we have it is like that but more than the stepping stool went outside and also you see me save a lot during this like I think we saved three or four times because too many horror stories that I've seen a happen with myself or other simmers where they'll lose their work and so I'm a little bit paranoid about saving especially while building um, I ended up actually using a modded rug or a custom rug I really tried I swear guys I really really tried to not use a lot of custom content in this build because because I wanted you guys to be able to download it and have it to its full glory. There are definitely a few pieces like that rug is custom. I believe those pictures on the wall are custom. Um, and there's some lights that I use throughout the build. They're actually in the room right there. You can see them above those pictures. Uh, those are custom as well, but I really did strive to not use a ton of custom content in the build because I wanted you guys to be able to actually have this build because it's so hard to track down custom content, especially if you've had it in your game for a long time and there are pieces that you've had. Sometimes the creators don't even have them anymore. So I do apologize. There are no links down below for any of the custom stuff. But um, for the fairy lights that I use throughout the home, there you just have to search like, I think like Tumblr Sims 4 lights and they will come up. So uh, good luck family and friends. <laughs> but um, I struggled a little bit with this living room because I wanted it to fit nicely and be really compact, but I also wanted it to still feel as open as it could because the whole house design is very open with the natural lighting. And I struggled with like the decor of this area too. I, I find that with base game items or like expansion items, wall decor, I probably struggle more than anything with. Um, I find that I just don't know how to utilize it properly. So that's something I'm working on. I think it turned out really well though. The only custom piece I believe in that corner is the rug that I put down, which is like a bear rug, bear skin rug. Um, I couldn't decide what to do with the open space right here. So I decided to throw down a bar because if this is just like a young couple or even a retired couple, they could day drink all day or day if they want to, you know, so decided to throw down a little bar. Maybe they have friends over to entertain, or maybe it's just one person that throws these awesome little fun parties. So, um, I added a pan rack over above because pan racks to me are so adorable. If my home could have one, it totally would. Um, I also randomly decided that I wanted this home to be for an artist as well like maybe one of the people that lives there or the one person is really into art so I gave them a really small well sunlit uh, art studio downstairs off the kitchen it's very tiny it just has a few little artsy things in it and then um, over by the stairwell, I added some more lighting. I actually feel like if there was one thing I was going to change about this house, it would probably be those lights that I put by the door. I just didn't use them anywhere else in the house and it feels a little weird. So off the back, I wanted there to be a huge deck because personally for myself, you guys are probably going to see a lot of lake houses because like I said, it's my like obsession, but 
I have a massive obsession with nature. I don't like to camp or be dirty or not be able to shower, but honestly, being outside and being in nature, even if it's like right outside my house, just like sitting, like literally outside my front door, like on my porch, being outside really helps me to connect with my spiritual side. For me to be happy and feel happy, I have to connect with nature as much as possible. It just honestly is part of my daily routine. And I realized recently, while I've been going through a lot that I'm not ready to really talk about, I have realized recently that I have not been connecting with nature at all. And I think it's honestly really been hurting me. So um, I wanted there to be a huge deck. You will probably see this as a very common theme coming up in any builds that I do. I love huge outdoor spaces. Having an outdoor oasis really means a lot to me. And I want to bring that to my Sims. So I added a little area for seating. I added a yoga mat. Um, I also left a little open section, excuse me, I left a little open section off the back as well where my sim could jump into the lake if they wanted to. I thought that was cool. If we had boats, this would be like a perfect opportune moment to have that. Um, and then I think we finally start upstairs. Oh, I forgot to say though, also in the back, I added some planter boxes because gardening really can be soothing. I swear that on my life. I don't do it nearly as much, but when I do connect with nature in that way, it feels really good. So moving upstairs, it took me a while to get it right because I just do not have the building expertise to figure it out. It, it took me some time, but I really wanted it to be loft style upstairs. So that is 100% what I went for. The upstairs is very open and there is a closet and a bathroom that we put upstairs and that is it. Um, I love the way this came out. I actually kind of want to play a current household with this house. I think it would be really fun. I don't know what kind of current household I would do, but I, I, like I said, I just think it'd be really fun. So um, I, I even tried to put a balcony off of the upstairs because again, connecting with nature means so much to me. I did end up giving a small balcony, like tiny, like your sim couldn't even really walk out there. It's just like a one by three, <laughs> but I think it looked really nice. And like I said, those views mean everything to me. So I wanted to keep that. I added more of that industrial brick upstairs to keep the theme of the house the same. I really wanted the whole home to feel cohesive and feel like it all worked together as one piece whether it rather than it being a bunch of rooms divided that didn't really go together um, it's funny because my home even though it's not done it's never done I love decorating and I'm changing it constantly but my home is kind of shaping up to be that way I really really love monochrome and my home is really starting to shape into monochrome all over the place um, so for the bedroom I wanted it to be cozy even with the like cold hard brick so I went with all white because white in the bedroom to me is like the best. My bedroom has all white bedding. It's, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love decorating and accent, accenting with colors, but having everything mainly be white. <clears throat> so with that, I use the same rug that I use downstairs. I do apologize. It is custom. Um, I, I, uh, really kept the bedroom simple in my opinion. And then for the bathroom, I just wanted to give it a little bit of a luxury boost. So I did use the fancy toilets and I did give them of course, or whoever I gave them a nice garden tub because <sighs> baths are everything. My dream home will have a massive bathtub. That'll be a requirement. And then I'm adding more of those new lights that we got with the fitness pack in there. And I did add a pop of color in the bathroom uh, just for funsies because it looked nice. I don't know. I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good one. So I decided to add a little pop in there. Um, I added a lot of greenery in the house as well because again, connecting with nature, got to have a lot of plants. I actually have an orchid sitting on my desk right now that my husband bought me and it's gorgeous and I love seeing it every day. <laughs> and then of course I added a bookshelf. I feel like no Sim home is complete without a bookshelf. The only thing that I forgot in this house was I 100% forgot to put a mailbox in. So if you do download this house, it is on the gallery. I believe it's called like Gardener's Loft or something. I don't even know. I, I'm still working on the title. It doesn't have a title for the video yet, but if you're seeing it, you already know that it has a title. Um, so then I just added the closet in as well that you saw real fast. And then at the very end here, I'm just finishing up the front porch and that is literally it. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Let me know what you thought of down below. Let me know if you're going to download it in the gallery and uh, let me know what your dream home would feel like and what you want to see next for builds. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This is Coffee signing off. Bye guys.